ever wonder what happens to that plastic candy wrap after you throw it in the trash? Let me invite you on a journey to a new beginning, where together we join forces to reduce the negative environmental impact caused by plastic. Plastic is not inherently the villain. Plastic products have provided us with significant benefits in our society, conveniences we wouldn't have without them. But the way society has used and managed plastic, specially disposable and single-use convenience products, is creating problems that you may not be fully aware of, like plastic leaking and persisting in our environment transforming this useful and mostly wonderful innovation into the unsuspecting protagonist of a planetary environmental disaster. Plastics consumption will continue to rise. Over 7 billion people need plastics. But if we don't start producing more sustainable and eco-friendly plastics, the environmental problems we are creating are not going to solve themselves. That is certain. Gradually, we must move away from using fossil-based plastics. Nothing will change unless we actually make a move to change the source. Every kilo of fossil-based plastic produced is an environmental defect that must be addressed. Ideally, all plastics should be made from other plastics or from renewable resources. All plastics should be redesigned to include a safety mechanism that is activated in the unfortunate case it escapes collection, thus reducing its environmental persistence and the ensuing harm. The reality is that we don't have the ideal plastic solution available today. Some bioplastics get pretty close to that vision of ideal, but poor performance, cost and scalability limit these idealistic materials to very specific niches. So, the urgent challenge is, how can we improve the affordable, high-performing mainstream plastics so they will be more circular and less persistent? Some breakthrough technologies are paving the way. That's the case with Biologic's bio-based plastic, called New Plastic. That's where it all starts, starch. New plastic is a natural 100% plant-based plastic that was developed to reduce the amount of fossil resources used to make plastic products and to render them less persistent if leaked to the environment. New plastic mixes with traditional plastic raw materials to produce a variety of blends. That's great because instead of trying to best or replace the mainstream resins, which isn't realistic given the gigantic scale and the different performance needs, Biologic partners to transform and improve them, a much more actionable route. These BioBlend polymers can produce many types of plastic products. Products made from new plastic immediately reduce plastic-related greenhouse gas emissions by up to 50% while maintaining the functional performance of traditional plastics and make already compostable available plastic solutions even better and more economical. And they have potential to be less environmentally persistent, which has been validated by numerous scientific studies. But could we consider plastic products made with new plastic to be recyclable? They wanted to make sure that new plastic would be compatible with real-world recycling efforts, so, they commissioned an in-depth study. First stop was ETIA Eco Technologies in France. We wanted to learn if new plastic would be compatible with pyrolysis, the most common type of chemical recycling today. ETIA trial was a success proving new plastic to be compatible with pyrolysis when combined with polyethylene. 
Not satisfied with being an observer in the recycling scene, Biologic proceeded to partner with Lysella to accelerate the scale up with their leading-edge CAT HTR chemical recycling technology. The second stop was assessing new plastics mechanical recyclability when blended to make polyethylene films. Mechanically recycling flexible films is easier said than done, but Grinning presented the right credentials, so off they went. Grinning's industrial scale trial began in Manaus with the help from Val Film, where the test films were produced. The rolls of film were then sent to Curitiba in the state of Paraná to undergo the typical mechanical recycling process. At this plant, Grinning's partner recycles over 14,000 tons of plastic every year. Recycled pallets were then sent as raw material for production of agricultural films and plastic bags. Agricultural films made from recycled pallets were subjected to another recycling cycle. In order to simulate a worst-case scenario, the previously recycled agricultural films were exposed to three months in a composting facility mixed with organic waste and then recycled once again. The objective was to showcase how new plastic-induced biodegradation wouldn't jeopardize mechanical recyclability in the event the material is collected post-biotic exposure. During all those phases, samples were removed for reference testing. Rigorous tests were applied to determine the quality of the product. At this point, the performance of new plastic blends were compared to traditional pure post-consumption polyethylene. So, what were the results? Greening found that up to 2% of new plastic will likely go unnoticed in post-consumption mechanical recycling streams. 5% can be included by making some process adjustments. Higher percentages of up to 20% new plastic were also tested and determined that these pallets would be best suited for less stringent applications, such as plastic wood, one of many common applications. It is far to state that normal amounts of new plastic will have little to no impact on a post-consumption mechanical recycling value chain. So, by now, we've verified that new plastic offers a dropping avenue for transitioning away from fossil-based plastics, while remaining compatible with the mechanical recycling technologies of today and the chemical recycling technologies of tomorrow. But what about new plastics' potential to reduce environmental persistence of mainstream polymers? Well, Tests proved that new plastic enabled polyethylene, polypropylene, and polystyrene to biodegrade in under one year. Such quick biodegradation was previously believed to be impossible. Amazing, right? Further soil forensics analysis on post-biodegradation samples were performed. Scientists were not able to find any polyethylene microplastic remaining in the soil, corroborating the disappearance wasn't the result of fragmentation or micronization, even more amazing. These exciting results motivated a partnership between Biologic and the world-renowned Oceanographic Institute within the University of Sao Paulo to explore new plastics' potential to reduce the marine environmental persistence of leaked plastics. While much remains to be discovered in the science of reducing environmental persistence, it is a pretty sure thing that new plastic will help. So now, we invite brands to step up in support of promising technologies like new plastic. Adoption as little as a pilot SKU enables companies like Biologic to challenge the status quo and push the limits of possible. And in the process, we help brands to be kinder to the environment and reduce their fossil-based plastic needs in the short term. We need to work together to guarantee a beautiful future for generations to come. Plastics are good, and Biologic is striving to make them better. Please join us in this journey!